a union has a vision that we're going to collectively accomplish one of these days, and that vision is that nursing home workers deserve the same wages as our hospital workers. Is that right? We are coming here today to talk to you, our legislators and staff people, to see to it that AB 1629 funds are used for what they were meant for. You know, patient care is going down. And we just wonder why we're not getting no answers. Nursing home residents deserve the same living conditions as hospital patients, is that right? One drop of water cannot do much, but a flood can make a difference. And we put all of our drops together, we become a flood. By working together, we become a team. I'm your teammates, and you are my teammate. And together, as a team, we can make a difference. No justice! No peace! No staffing! No peace! No How many of us do it take to support them to twist in the light button, light it up, and give us our dollar rate now? Let's be right now! We're out here fighting for our race. Time to quit playing at the bargaining and get to it. If you're a certified nurse assistant, or a housekeeper, or an LVN, or a laundry worker, you have the same skills as our members that work for Kaiser, and you deserve the same wages and the same work. stop now! We won't stop now! Having our voice heard, that's very important. We have to stick together, be united. So that's, that's what the union is all about, to being together as a, as a team. So nursing home industry, we want you to hear us loud and clear. You take one of us on, you take all of us on. contract was approved by Kaiser, by Catholic Healthcare West, and Chinese Hospital. And all we want Sutter to do is to say yes to what the mediator has proposed. The number one thing we're out here fighting for, though, is better staffing. This is the move. Patient care. This is the move. Patient care. We win. We, we won. won. We did it. El pueblo unido jamás se ha vencido. For us to have the right to organize the unorganized is the biggest victory of all. They said we weren't going to get any of these things and we got everything that we wanted. The people united can never be defeated. We won. <laughs> We're trying to win a contract for, for safe staffing. I hope HCA gets the message that we're going to stand together and do whatever it takes to get the contract that we deserve and the contract that all the other hospitals in Southern California are recognizing. According to every other hospital in the community, our patients get less care. We are here finally to speak up and tell HCA we're not going away. And serving in the hospital is a high service. The relatives come and go. But who wipes their faces when they are first parent? Who cools their scorching fever? If we stay together, if we're strong, if we stay united, we can get this done. The majority of the employees want a union. I feel that it will benefit the hospital, benefit the patient, benefit the uh, whole Antelope Valley. I would like to make a motion to go ahead and recognize the decision of the firm by allowing the employees to unionize. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? Thank you. Yes. Oh,
It was a we thing, not just one person thing. It was a we. We made history tonight. Yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. If I got a raise, it would mean that I can move back into San Diego and my kids would have water and um, they could have a phone. We don't have a phone here. And we could have a stove, gas stove. We don't have a stove here. All those things would mean a lot to me. Are we going to let management silence us? No! Do we deserve respect for the work we do? Yes! yes! That's 5%! One pay a rent! That's 5%! One pay a rent! Poverty wages! I expect a higher moral standard than that. I expect them to care about the people who carry out the mission of this hospital. We're here for one thing. We're tired of not being heard. We want to be seen. With a contract, we have clauses in there that say, you know, everyone should be treated as a human being. Uh, everyone needs that respect. And I know most people know that in some instances that doesn't happen. So those are the things that a contract can bring to the table, and this is what we're trying to do for those unrepresented employees. Union, yes! Everybody who you want to go to, we've actually highlighted them in yellow to try to make it a little easier. Workers should be able to carry out their duties and their jobs in a safe environment. Dear Governor Alan Switzer Nugget, I think that trying to balance the budget and the backs of the working people is a very, very bad idea. You will find this rough awakening a day after the election because we are very upset about all the things that you want to do. It's time for you to see what is the power of the working people in our state. Thank you. I still believe we can be a place not with six million people uninsured, but where every person, poor or rich, has a chance to see a doctor and to get health care when they're sick. And Oh, 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 oh,